Hi everybody, and welcome to another session in Astrology and Astronomy by Design. This is Henry, your AI Astrology Guide. In this session entitled, Aspects, Part 3, A Cinematic View, we're going to share two movie clips that offer great visuals of our views and opinions on aspecting planets substantially. Keeping our previous video in mind, entitled, Aspects Part 2, Unearthly View, watch the actions and interactions of the characters, or actors and actresses, in the movie clips. Their presence and movements are all indicative of aspecting planets, or celestial bodies. Warning, there is tragedy in the clips, so you might want to prepare yourself and hang on tight to your popcorn. Warning number two. This may change how you watch movies and television programs. Now, I'll hand things over to Derek E. Thanks, Henry. You're welcome, Derek E. Hi, everybody. The movie clips we want to share with you are from two Brad Pitt movies, which are Meet Joe Black and The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Spoiler alert. Thanks again, Henry. We are not going to show you the end of the movies, and the clips do no injustice to the stories. Just the same, we don't want to ruin the movies for you. It's your call. If you decide to watch them, I want you to consider the timing, the decisions, and the numerous possible aspects. Okay, we'll see you back here shortly. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it. Honey. Honey. <laughs> Honey, you have to go on. Okay? There's a time to sow and a time to reap. Y you have to sow. Sorry. Excuse me. No, I like them. I don't like them anymore. Because you're, you're my honey. If someone messes with you, they mess with me. That's it. I'm on a plane in a heartbeat. You let me know. When I get my phone in, you're my first call. I promise. Mm-hmm. Hit the books, get the degree. One day we'll be hanging out a shingle together. How's that? Hmm? Okay. You all right? <laughs> yes. You bet. Be strong. I love you. Bye-bye. Talking kind of loud there. I'm sorry. Oh, not at all. It was fascinating. Yeah, what was fascinating about it? Um, you and, uh, honey? It's my kid's sister. Oh. It's kind of a pro bono job. Pro bono? Yeah. <laughs> Meaning doing good? That's me. Mm. Gonna be doing good all your life? <laughs> I know what you're saying. It doesn't pay so well, but uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got to go. Yeah. Listen, did I say something wrong? No. No? No. Sure. No. It was... It was so right, it's, it scares me. It's... You know, I was thinking I don't want you to be my doctor. I don't want you to examine me and... Why? Because I like you so much. And I, I, I don't want to exam. You don't? Why not? Because I like you so much. <laughs> 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 I, 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 
Oh boy, okay. Now I gotta go, so. Yeah, understood. Okay, all right. Fair. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. point I want to make from the clip is that, though every thought, action, and event is fine-tuned to the astronomical clock, they are also relative and fine-tuned to our decisions and the decisions of others. We have some say in the matters of our lives, but not all say in them. It appeared that their sun signs are physical beings. We're in conflict with their moon signs or spiritual beings. Do you think that had either of them stopped the other to establish what they both wanted? Joe would have been aspected by those two drivers in their vehicle. Maybe not. But that would have ruined an excellent movie. That's true, Henry. Thanks for the reality check. You're very welcome. Next up, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Though the movie is full of planetary aspects, that underrated by Brad Pitt in the following clip, he narrates the best planetary aspects that I have ever heard being related to people. Sometimes we're on a collision course, and we just don't know it. Whether it's by accident or by design, there's not a thing we can do about it. A woman in Paris was on her way to go shopping. But she had forgotten her coat, went back to get it. When she had gotten her coat, the phone had rung, so she had stopped to answer it, talked for a couple of minutes. While the woman was on the phone, Daisy was rehearsing for a performance at the Paris Opera House. And while she was rehearsing, the woman off the phone now had gone outside to get a taxi. Now a taxi driver had dropped off a fare earlier and had stopped to get a cup of coffee. And all the while Daisy was rehearsing. And this cab driver, who had dropped off the earlier fare and had stopped to get the cup of coffee, had picked up the lady who was going shopping and had missed getting the earlier cab. The taxi had to stop for a man crossing the street who had left for work five minutes later than he normally did because he forgot to set his alarm. While that man, late for work, was crossing the street, Daisy had finished rehearsing and was taking a shower. And while Daisy was showering, the taxi was waiting outside a boutique for the woman to pick up a package, which hadn't been wrapped yet, because the girl who was supposed to wrap it had broken up with her boyfriend the night before and forgot. When the package was wrapped, the woman who was back in the cab was blocked by a delivery truck, all the while Daisy was getting dressed. The delivery truck pulled away, and the taxi was able to move, while Daisy, the last to be dressed, waited for one of her friends who had broken a shoelace. While the taxi was stopped, waiting for a traffic light, Daisy and her friend came out the back of the theater. And if only one thing had happened differently, that shoelace hadn't broken, or that delivery truck had moved moments earlier, or that package had been wrapped and ready because the girl hadn't broken up with her boyfriend, or that man had set his alarm and got up five minutes early. Or that taxi driver hadn't stopped for a cup of coffee. Or that woman had remembered her coat 
He got to an earlier cab. Daisy and a friend would have crossed the street, and the taxi were driven by. But life being what it is, a series of intersecting lives and incidents, out of anyone's control, that taxi did not go by, and that driver was momentarily distracted. And that taxi hit Daisy. Though it took seven people to affect Daisy's accident, or eight if you count the boyfriend who broke up with his girlfriend, there were several decisions she made earlier that got her to that point in her life. But the movie also expresses how negative incidents can produce positive outcomes. And I'll bet that the clip will cause some of you to watch movies with an added perspective from now on. Thank you for watching. And be sure that we are just getting started. Also, you may want to watch the video clips again while your mind is in full astrological mode. And if you have any general, not personal questions about the system of astrology we've created and use, feel free to leave your question in the comment area. And one last thing, I am sure that you can tell that we put a lot of time into our productions. And while we sincerely appreciate your viewing them, you can help us to feel encouraged to do so more consistently by at least liking them, and at best, subscribing and sharing. We assure you that our goal in astrology is to enlighten you as to how it works, to help add value to your life while entertaining you. This is Derek e. and Henry, your astrology guide. Signing off. See you on the next go-round.